So, um, B. Goon pleads guilty to two attempts, and um, he's gonna be sentenced July seventeenth. Um, mm-hmm. man, all I can say is this: a lot of times when dudes get locked up for attempts, bodies, robberies, whatever, most of these situations don't even last minutes. Most of them don't even last a full minute. Most of the stuff is seconds. You feel me? Somebody catching a body, like, that's seconds, bro. For real. You feel me? Somebody doing a robbery, that don't take that long. None of these, these crimes don't really take that long. People be in and out. So let's say B. Dot. Okay, let's say he did do this, even though he pleaded guilty. But, all right, let's say he did do this, right? How long did it take to spend on different people? You feel me? All right, let's say he spun on two people. Let, let's say he spent four minutes spending on his ops. Now he about to do 10 to 20 years over four minutes. The time does not make sense. On top of that, you didn't get no bag. At least if my man's robbed a bank and get locked up, that's dumb. He robbed the bank. Like, you're an idiot, but I respect it because he not trying to hurt nobody. At least he's trying to go get that bag. You feel me? B. Goon out here chasing dudes outside the courthouse, spinning on ops, looking for wreck. This was bound to happen. And you know what? It's going to sound crazy, but I'm happy this happened. Because bro was obviously looking for this to happen. He wanted this to happen. I don't want to see no young dude in jail, but he begged for this, dog. He begged for this. But outside of all of that, I'm going to still keep it solid, dog. Free B. Goon. Keep your head up. I'm going to keep you in my prayers, dog. Hopefully, you can get your mind straight when you come out. Hopefully, they don't lock you up for that long because you are young and young people do make mistakes, bro. We all make mistakes. I cannot judge you. I made mistakes, too. I ain't never do nothing like that, but I made a lot of mistakes in life, bro. And when you come home, just be a regular dude. No need to be super tough. Be about your money. That's it. I respect dudes out here who are about their money. I don't respect the ultra tough. Oh, I go hard. I got to... Uh, I don't respect that because a lot of times when dudes be broke, bro, them dudes be broke. It's not too many niggas who got a hundred thousand dollars to the name who trying to fight. I heard 50 Cent say this. And nigga, niggas who got money, different situations going on, you you don't want to fight. If you got a hundred thousand to your name, you got some kind of motion and you catching flights. Your girl look good. You eating good meals. Your family's taken care of. You don't even have the anger to really fight like that unless somebody super, super, super disrespects you. But even with that, you're not even going to be in that kind of situation. You know, so it's sad seeing these dudes try to be so OG, so gangster. <sighs> Bro, go for a walk. Digital thugs in my like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Gang, gang, gang. Hey, yo, you. You right there. You listening right now. Follow me on the gram, bro, at digital thugs underscore. I'm trying to get to 500 followers. I'm trying to get out my mama basement. You feel me? So follow me on the gram for all Bronx Drill news, all New York news, anything funny, whatever. Follow me on the gram at digital thugs underscore. You dig? I'm out. Thank you for watching. Gang, gang, gang. Gla, gla, gla. Boom.